Welcome back, everybody. Pack Opening Addict. Uh, so those that have not been following the channel as long, uh, Commander Legends was the reason I got back into Magic the Gathering in the first place in the Commander format that I really wish was around when I was young. God, the format's so cool. Um, and then I opened a whole bunch of these collector boxes, the draft boxes, and all of that, and I love this set. And so much so that I, I after I started a Patreon and... And all that, I bought a whole bunch of boxes from a source, and I, I got those boxes so I could open them from patrons. And, uh, well, every single one of those boxes, of course, turned out to have been mapped, which is a separate conversation I'm not going to go into again. I already had my rant, and I'm done with that. We're past it. So, I didn't open one of these for quite some time. And as a pack cracking channel, it's actually impressive how long I went without opening or touching one of these boxes. But I think, I think it's time... I think it's time to get over what had happened. I think it's time to go back to my old friend, Commander Legends. So, let's get into this and see what we got. So we got the Warden, we got the Ordeal, Slaughter the Strong, and Court of Grace for the first rare. I think that qualifies for up here. Great card. An Armix, and Bell Borka Spectral Sergeant. Oh, and a Foil-Etched Numa. This is actually pretty cool in itself, too. Okay. Kind of forgot. It's been so long since I've done one of these. I kind of forgot how I separate the top. But you know, I tend to have a strategy for the cards I put at the top. Kind of forgot what it is. Oh, well. We'll figure it out as we go. Okay. Fence and Ace. And the Vow. Victimize. Aurora Phoenix. Not the card we're looking for. Malcolm. And Nadir. Foil Terramorphic Expanse. That isn't too curled. Okay. Of course, Commander Legends will forever be marred for that. Um, whatever it was in which they created this set, the foils did not turn out great. Again, if you put them in a little container, sealed container with a desiccant, you can get rid of the curling, but it'll come back, depending on your conditions. Gildas Commons and Kamal's Will. Still kind of surprised this card never really did anything. Okay. And then we got Thalise and Halana. And this is not focusing. Sorry, folks. Okay, Ancient Animus. All right, we're going to go. The Rise of Scholar, Vow of Duty, Dreamstone Hedron. And Opposition Agent. Very nice. I'm still a little bit surprised this card has never, like, completely spiked, but it stayed consistent. Strong card. Okay, Tago and Nimrus. And a Viserys Seal Foil. Gladly take an Opposition Agent. I mean, that card's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Jeez, I mean... When you're, when you're coming back into this ever, not having touched the game in so long, and you see a card like that, you're just like, what the heck is this? Arcane Signet. Mana Drain Baby! All right. All right, all right, all right. All right! Okay. Good, 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 good. Put that over there. All right. Quain, I keep saying all right. Nicor Muldrick. This box is good already. Like, we're, we're uh, between Opposite Asian and uh, Mana Drain. It's like half the box price right there. So, pretty much just get normal stuff and, and you're done. Body of Knowledge. Tuya and Kamal. Okay. So, hopefully we'll end up with two Mythics. That's the last one you actually kind of want to get. But, still Kamal. Still a cool card. Out of the commander slot, I mean. So the mythics out of that, out of that back slot. Sakashima, of course, being the the one you most want. But you always get at least one, which is which is kind of cool. Sometimes you can get two. Orzov, confiscate, Kumbage witches, spectator seating. That's right. And I have to have a spot for lands. So the enemy version of the battle bond lands, I guess you can call it. All right, last pack of the right side of the box. And I'm intrigued because the mana drain 
because I opened it in opposite order, the box, which means we're going to hit the mythics that came before the mana drain, which is, uh, we've got potential for something here. Rings of Settler and the Rings of Brighthearth. Good card. Good card. Rev, Zets will foil, not the foil rare you're looking to see, but it's very rare that I ever see a foil out of this set that you actually care about anyway. So it doesn't matter. I did pull a foil, a, a, a foil jeweled lotus once, and that was pretty, pretty awesome. Out of one of these. That doesn't happen every day. Court of Ire. That's your Hans Ericsson. They really, uh, even to this day, opening these Commander Legends packs, these things are sealed. They are they are uh, designed to hold as many cards as come in that come in these. Codex Shredder, Lore Seeker Stone, Bioways Blob, okay, Numa, and Miara, which I feel like those two always come together. Peace. Okay, I'm just apparently just completely trying to go straight to the rare. Phyrexian Triniform for Mythic. Really cool card. Never really like hit, but it is a really cool card. And in Commander, that's not an unreasonable amount of mana. Okay, interpret the signs, make a stand, Noxious Dragon, Command Beacon. I think it's really that nobody has broken Phyrexian Trainer form yet. That's probably it since Commander's the format of breaking things. Alright, we are over halfway through the box now. So let's see how we can finish here. Okay, Burnished Heart, Shimmer Mirror, Sifter Worm, Blade Grift, Griff. Sorry, prototype. Brian Lynn. Balthus. And nothing. So we should have two more mythics to go on average. Um, let's see if we can get it any more of the crowd lands, multiplayer lands, whatever you want to call them. Nobody still to this very date has come to a consensus of what to call those. Austere Command, okay. Imati and Zara, Lord Seeker Stone Foil. Oops. And it and somebody already typed in the comments that I put the Phyrexian Trinner form in the wrong pile. Like that already happened. And now that person's like, yeah, that was me. Elvish Dreadlord, Radiant Sarah Archangel, and Captain Vargas. Okay. I keep, uh, and I do this like in every set where I take a quick look knowing that there's a, a token back there, but I, I take a quick glance like thinking that it could be something back there, but it's it's not going to be anything back there besides a token. Maybe, the, maybe it's the set uh, boosters that have me that way. Sakashima's Purge, goes to Ramirez Di Pietro, and Alharu. Okay. All right, we're on the last third of the box. We've got Skilled Animator, Thought Vessel. Okay. Hunter's Insight, and Larry Nevin's Disc, Casket, and Krark the Thumbless. Okay. Oops. We have very minimal packs left to get another mythic at least, and hopefully another couple of the crowd lands. So let's see what these last packs can do for us here. Reshape the earth. Okay. Solid card. Solid card. Not a big hit, but you know. Again, the the mythic ooh, foil undergrowth stadium. Okay, that's a better one. Um, as has been shared in the past, this is a Heavily track printed set, so we 
you tend to get certain things and that's how they balanced it. Immaculate Magistrate, Ragra, son of Ragra, Anara, and Kumbaj, witches, which, why is that an uncommon? I still don't understand that, but whatever. Uncommons don't matter. Uncommons are the new commons. Rares are the new uncommon. Three visits. Court of Cunning. Arden. And Amareth. Okay. What do we got left here? We got four packs left. I'm sure we have at least one more crowd land coming. I'm hoping for one more mythic. But no guarantee on that one, folks. No guarantee. 24 packs. So one mythic every eight packs. And then you tend to get... At least one mythic from the commander slot per box, so we might be it there. Armored Sky Hunter, Belb, and Nostro. Okay, three packs left. So in the end, you know, this is a solid box. You know, it wasn't it wasn't a spectacular box, it wasn't a killer box, but it was a it was a good box. Not uh, not mad at this box, that's for sure. I don't think anybody would be upset about opening this, that's for sure. Necrotic Hex, Iktekik, and Belborka again. All right, two packs left. I'm hoping for one more Crowdland, though, at least. I like to think that should happen. One is a pretty low number. Not counting the, the rare, or so the foil one, because that's... Ember Wild Captain, Breaches, and Rebecca. Wow, last pack. Okay. You have to have one of those in there. You have to. This can't be a one Crowdland box. How does that work out? It's like statistically, that's incredibly difficult. Sphinx of the Second Sun. Okay, so we did have one more mythic inside there. All right, well, no, no additional Crowdland, but we got another mythic. And we got Hamza Kedis and a Foil Breaches to finish us off. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you need any uh, discounts on any custom playmats, custom, you know, sleeves, I got my link down below for 10% off your order with yourplaymat.com. So you can use the link or the code POA10YP. Till next time. Bye.